Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon and Rising from the 10th to the 16th of August 2020. I hope you're well Capricorn. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching message, your energy. So what do we have for Capricorn please? Angels, spirits, guides. Okay. Capricorn energy, we have three of coins. What do we have for Capricorn, please, angels? What is the message for Capricorn? Okay, that turned over really quickly. We have celebration. Your spirit needs to play and have fun. Could also be that there's some celebration here. Um, really beautiful energy there, Capricorn. Could well be take a break from hard work. <laughs> we know that you're a hard working sign. So what do we have for Capricorn, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Okay, okay. <laughs> Literally flew out. We have the hourglass. The time is of the essence. And the black cat. Your luck will soon change. Time is of the essence. Your suck your luck <laughs> your luck will soon change. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Capricorn. So I pull four cards. The first card is you. Second card is your challenge. Third card is advice from spirit. Fourth card is your outcome. And then we will clarify the cards to go deeper into the message. It won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, we have the page of wands. This is beautiful. Your challenge. Six of Pentacles. Three of Swords is advice from Spirit. And King of Swords is your outcome. Aquarian energy. Okay, can we clarify the cards on the table for our lovely Capricorns, please? 10th to the 16th of August 2020. For Capricorn, please. Starting with this page of wands, thank you. Thank you. Oh gosh, wow. <laughs> We've got the Wheel of Fortune. Lucky. Luck is on your side. Interesting. And the Nine. This is coupled with the Nine of Pentacles. It's beautiful. Wow, Capricorn, this is so lovely. Seven of Cups clarifies the Six of Pentacles. Three of Swords that clarifies the Hermit. Oh wow, the Ace of Cups clarifies the King of Swords. And we have the Eight of Swords, bottom of the deck. I'm just going to clarify this Eight of Swords. Okay, can we clarify this Eight of Swords for Capricorn, please? Clarify this Eight of Swords for Capricorn. Can we clarify? Thank you. Okay. Yeah, it's to do with this Three of Swords, uh, which is coming out twice. So I kind of get this. Uh, I get it. Uh, yeah, it's, it's fine. Okay, Capricorn. This is that big power boost in terms of your money and career. Um, you're doing the practical things that you need to do to lay a solid foundation, to manifest a small level of success here. It's a lovely, lovely energy. Um, this is somebody who's placing their energy in the right direction, applying their practice, practical skills, knowledge and experience, using their time wisely as well, Capricorn to manifest something new. The three is about manifesting something new. You're kind, you know, with this three of swords appearing twice, you know, you, this is why I love the Capricorn energy because even though there is hurt here in this reading, you're doing the practical things that you need to do to bring positive, transformational, earth energy change into your life. And I feel it's money and career in particular. 
um, but it's going to bring you safety, security, solidity, having gone through some pain. Um, in whatever context, I mean, the Three of Swords can be as the general reading in the workplace, can be also in terms of relationships, but this is where you're doing the constructive things that you need to do to build a new foundation. It's a lovely, lovely energy and manifest new success. Um, it's such a nice grounding energy that because there's a message your luck will soon change and I feel it's by your approach to dealing with a situation time is off the essence you know this is what I'm saying you're ruled by Saturn you know it is all to do with where you're placing your time and energy in this reading and I feel for some of you if you use it wisely there's a message the black cat is saying your luck will soon change lovely I feel that there will be a celebration but this is also about allow yourself to be happy um, this is getting life balance as well isn't it so um, you might be working hard having gone through some deep pain some deep hurt here but this is allow yourself time to relax reconnect um, socialize obviously social distancing and all that um, whether it's online whether it's with you know physically with people at a distance this is very much allow yourself to have some fun as well it's a lovely lovely energy though the uh, three of coins it is your energy it's perfect for you in this reading okay <laughs> I mean this is beautiful you know the page of wands represents the beginnings of something new beginnings of change it's a messenger this is a message of good news you know what you've been working towards if you've been applying for jobs I feel you have and um, with this this challenge it might not have materialized as quickly as you want it to um, yeah and I'm kind of feeling this is saying that there are options open to you you know like in your challenge I kind of feel that maybe it hasn't happened as quickly as you want but it's almost kind of like the time is now the amount of messages that I'm getting with time energy it is the time is now because this is the time is now it's divine timing the wheel of fortune is good luck good fortune expansion growth prosperity it is extremely good in terms of money and career can be linked with that transmutable energy of endings and beginnings so it's a lovely lovely energy Capricorn because the nine of pentacles I feel this opportunity and it's interesting I had this for you in your money and career reading where you might be getting more money or you may be working hard on um, producing a, on setting up a business or a business partnership or a, a collective partnership in terms of business um, you might be applying for jobs as well which is going to get you more money I mean this is just the biggest shift in terms of expansion in terms of your fortune so whatever this opportunity is for you it's leading to this the nine of pentacles somebody who is incredibly successful in their own right in terms of money and career and this is the hard work what the hard work will produce and where it's leading towards but again the wheel of fortune is saying divine time and divine orchestration everything happens for a reason so even though in your challenge maybe it hasn't been happening it may be the pandemic has put things on hold and that has been a little bit frustrating here Capricorn I feel that there is a big shift now the wheel of fortune is that shift towards things kick-starting again and um, because this is opportunity can be online online interviews um, online opportunities and um, if it's your own business pitching for business you know connections networking that type of thing there are opportunities around you and you know this is your time to receive that's what the universe is saying the six of pentacles it's your time to receive now it might well be I love this because this can also be somebody reaching out making you an offer um, and I feel it's to do with your hopes, dreams and wishes. What you're hoping will come off. One of those opportunities. It's saying can come off. And I feel there's good news to do with the, one of these opportunities that you've been working towards. Three of Swords. This is a card of emotional pain there could be some truth coming to light in relationships it can be about pain in relationships truths coming to light in relationships 
um, personal relationships, it can be third party situations, it can also be being deeply hurt by somebody in business, work. Um, yeah, so uh, in that context here, Capricorn, the Hermit is how we shine a light from within, how we find answers from within in order to overcome this Three of Swords. It's interesting energy um, because this is about the sound judgment calls, the wisdom that you get from within in how you need to move forward now, where you need to place your energy. And it's almost kind of like even with the Six of Pentacles, it's put your energy in the right direction that's going to bring you growth because there is absolutely opportunity potential around you. And feel that's what you're doing, Capricorn. You're so grounded, you know. You understand how to weather situations very well, changing situations. Um, the cautionary advice for some of you is don't let... Don't let this Three of Swords keep you stuck. And this is in your mind, in your mental energy, in how you perceive something. It's almost kind of like, don't let this Three of Swords stop you from making a new plan, from seeing a new vision, from seeing the way forward on a new path now. Um, because, you know, I've got the King of Swords here, and this is somebody who makes the plan. This is somebody who has a vision. This is somebody who is a strategist. He understands how to put a plan into action. Um, and he's a very liberating energy. He's the power of the mind. So there's a message here that you need to... This can be overthinking. This can be lack of focus as well in your mind. Caused by this, this Three of Swords. So there is a caution here, Capricorn, that the only thing that's going to keep get in your way and keep you stuck is your mind energy. And I feel this is the energy of, of yeah, getting mastery over the mind here, how you're perceiving something, how you need to release from what is keeping you stuck in order to see the way forward, a new vision. Because I feel this Ace of Cups is linked with this one of your hopes, dreams and wishes. Something that you really want to make happen that you've been working towards. It's almost kind of like the cup of joy is being offered to you. This is real happiness. This is a new beginning as well. But it is an opportunity that brings joy, happiness. It is where the divine love, the universe, is pouring love and light into you as well. Helping you towards this new vision. Here I'm feeling Capricorn. Helping you towards new joy turning around this situation that has caused you pain towards finding emotional renewal but you know this can also be a new opportunity that is bringing you joy I'm feeling this reading is linking in with money and career it can be love as well um, but I kind of feel Capricorn that this can be self-love and I feel it's linked with there is some opportunity some good news coming your way to do with something that you really want to happen and this is your hard work paying off. It's a lovely, lovely energy. Your luck will soon change. I mean, I can't believe the Wheel of Fortune came out as well. So the universe is telling you something to put your energy in the right direction now. And don't let your mind, your mental thoughts keep you stuck. Okay. What do we have for Capricorn, please? angel spirits guides as a final message thank you i love this energy we have this tree dryad will help you navigate through your current situation her flute can reveal insights and answers through the sound it makes this is tree wisdom and again hermit energy finding answers from within the wisdom from within in how you need, now need to move forward in your external environment this is internal illumination here capricorn and it's all coming from the universe, you know? It's all internal energy. This is also intuitive energy. So answers, intuition, reconnect to who you are to see the way forward now. It's a lovely energy. It's almost kind of like there is something so wonderful ahead. Yeah, beautiful. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.